Hello Leo, welcome to Karina Star Tarot. This is a reading for the whole of the Leo Collective. So take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, then check out your Moon, Venus and Rising signs in some of my other readings. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a private reading from me, you can find the link to private readings in the description box directly below this video. You'll also find the link to my Etsy shop. So if you'd like to check out my Etsy shop, that would be great. I offer a lot of tarot readings, choice of tarot readings on my Etsy shop. So do check it out, like I said. And finally, please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. It really does make a difference when you do those things. To my, It makes a difference to my channel gets it out there more and also finally happy new year to all of you and thank you again for all your support that you showed me last year much appreciated and I hope that continues into 2023 so I'm going to begin your reading and I'm using the everyday witch tarot deck and the love oracle cards and the first card out for you is the four of pentacles Let's get you some cards out first. Yeah. The Seven of Wands. And the Moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer with the Moon. So, you with the Four of Pentacles coming out here uh, are not sure that you're interested in something here. It's like you are trying to resist it. You don't want to go back down that road. Trying to resist someone. Your defences are up. Someone may be determined to overcome some sort of problems, difficulties that, they're, that you're both having. Um, but I see that you may not really be interested well you're resisting being interested for sure because of fears yeah you you're, you're you're not very confident about this situation i think you have a fear of history repeating itself here i mean there is hopes and dreams you you know um you do hope and dream that it will that it could work out ideally for you, but your fears are overtaking you. I think that you are resisting because you don't believe that there is a future and you, you're fearful about taking this person back, accepting this person back. You're really resisting. Yeah, because I feel that you are going to get communication from someone. I feel this is the person you're trying very much to act uninterested towards that you're resisting this person has been keeping track of you has been observing you checking up on you this person's definitely going to communicate with you i feel that you are going to try everything you can to resist yeah you some of you feel that you would be better off cutting this person out of your life altogether, but I think it's a bit of a struggle. It's not the easiest thing for you to do. It's like a battle, internal battle that you're having because of emotions. When emotions are involved and you have attachments and feelings towards someone else, it's not easy to let them go, completely cut them out of your life. But you I feel that some of you want to do this and again another card of communication so definitely strong communication coming in for you from this person that you're trying to resist yeah it's um i feel that with the devil coming up at this stage in your reading this could be indicate there's a big temptation for you to give in it could also be that you're thinking that this is not going to work this, this is toxic it's not you know, you've got into some 
either bad habits with this person or you find that this person's behavior towards you has been toxic um but i i feel that with this card coming up here like i said it's trying to resist you know you're trying to resist the temptation here could be that the person that you're trying to resist has given into temptation themselves as well could also be dealing with capricorn so capricorn pisces cancer have come up quite strongly for you yeah like i said you do you definitely have feelings for this person and you are looking at that cup of love and um, i feel that you definitely have a lot of sh strong doubts about this person there's no doubt that your feelings are still there and i feel that this person has examined their feelings and they definitely have feelings for you without a doubt this person has feelings for you this person loves you i feel But then you've got the Seven of Swords. Now, this could be a case that this is coming up because, one, you may feel that you have been, maybe you're deceiving yourself, trying to resist or deny the true feelings that you truly have for this person. Maybe this person has done that in the past. This could also be about someone being deceptive behind your back. Maybe this person hasn't been very trustworthy um, in the past, you know, has, has done things behind your back. But I kind of feel with this, the way your reading is going, this is about self-deception. that You um, find it hard to face up to the fact that you do have feelings for this person, that you perhaps do want this person back in your life but you're trying to resist because you know that maybe this person's not good for you in the long run that maybe you don't feel this is the person for you that you're right for each other yeah and you're healing you've got the star here you're trying to get balance back in your life this person throws your life completely at, off balance you know throws you out of balance um messes your life up causes it makes it chaotic and, and the feelings that you have are very painful feelings you know they they hurt you don't want to feel the way you feel anymore you know you, you want to feel in balance you know you want to be feel whole again back to your normal self you know you just don't want to be going through this anymore you've had enough you know and you're trying to heal but it's a real battle i really sense a real struggle here and of course you could be dealing with aquarius so aquarius capricorn um pisces cancer have come up for you <laughs> all all one after the other here so you've got the five of swords yeah like i said um definitely confusion here um i feel that you definitely are having an internal battle here with yourself um you just don't know what to do you're very torn i mean there is a, a a part of you that feels that you need to resist this resist this person that you need to stay away from this person there's and then there's those feelings of love that you have for this person you know it's a constant battle and you just don't know what to do yeah yeah you're confused you ain't got no clarity on this situation you you are sitting in a bed of confusion at the moment not knowing really what way to go what what to do for the best um because you know the, the reality is you know if, if you're looking at it without feelings you know that this is not right that this person's not right for you Perhaps that's the way you, some of you are feeling that this is not going to work out. But then there's your heart, there's your emotions that yearn or long for this person. And it just creates a lot of confusion or a sense of not knowing what to do. You know, where do you turn to? Where do you go from here? What do you do? And you've got the two of cups, yeah? Like I said, there, you're dealing with a lot of strong feelings here. You you have a lot of strong feelings of love for this person and they do towards you as well so it's not something that you can just brush aside that easily 
and you are thinking of engaging in communication with this person this person's definitely going to communicate with you you may have been resisting answering their calls you may have been trying to avoid them but you are seriously considering engaging with this person talking to this person that you're still undecided you you don't know whether you know what you if you start talking to this person it's gonna it, it might start it all off again it might be harder to resist or once you start talking to this person if you avoid this person then it might be easier for you to find a way of breaking that this kind of spell this that this person seems to have over you or this these feelings that you have for this person given time so yeah you're really confused you're up and down emotionally knowing what not knowing what to do so let's get you out some love oracle cards now okay you've got a healing heart healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship or addiction yeah you are healing from heartbreak that this person may have caused you in the past and you know some of you like i said believe this person is toxic it's not right for you you know and also it's about not giving in to that this person resisting this person at all costs but some of you may decide that you want to meet up with this person i feel that this person is going to want to meet up with you they're definitely going to communi communicate and they are there is a conversation that is going to take place but this person wants to meet up with you in person And then you've got palm tree. This is good. This is stability, security, performance, growth, endurance, flexibility. This is to do with money. As soon as I picked this up, I felt money. Yeah, so a lot of you, there's, I feel that there's definitely uh, stability coming uh, into you where financial finances are concerned. Um, if you've been in going through some rough times financially um i feel that that's going to come to an end um there is something about finances here something money is coming to you or there is going to be a change in your circumstances financially it's going to lead to stability and security financially so that's good news for you so that was your reading please don't forget to hit the like button share this video and subscribe to my channel really helps and again happy new year to all of you take care i'll see you soon bye